Okay, hi everybody. I'm Jamie from Live Love Maplewood. And I have two very cool people on today. I'm so excited. Um, I have Jake Ezzo and I have Brandon Hillman. And they are both teachers at South Orange Middle School, also known as SOMS, in South Orange, New Jersey. And we're gonna be talking about how these two are making a huge impact on our community right now. Um, they're just amazing and I'm gonna kind of let them explain it all and tell you how you can get involved and how you can help. So thanks for tuning in and um, why don't we get started? So Jake, if you wanna kind of just introduce yourself and tell us kind of in a nutshell what you guys have been working on. Yeah, um, my name is obviously Jake Gazzo. I'm the chorus teacher over at South Orange Middle School and the music director for the Columbia High School Musical. Um, and basically, and, and as kind of like a, a side hustle during, uh, in addition to the distance teaching, we have been um, printing off 3D face shields for health care workers, first responders, sort of like frontline workers during this whole sort of pandemic. Um, and in addition to that, I think my friend Brandon can um, kind of sum up the other thing that we've been trying to head up. Um, hi, Brandon Hillman, uh, sixth grade ELA teacher at SOMS. Um, in addition to the wonderful work um, with printing and assembling the face shields, um, Jake and I have also been trying to lift the spirits for our students because it's a whole wild new environment for everyone. Um, and talking to our students and parents, a lot of them were, you know, feeling the weight of this pandemic. So to lighten the mood, Jake and I have been writing these parody songs and posting them for everyone um, about, you know, the current events of the country. We're excited to maybe hear one of those at some point. But we'll have to <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. We'll have to post all those. <laughs> yeah. So can you guys maybe just tell everybody what is a face shield? Um, you mentioned that people are making them and for those who maybe, you know, aren't so sure, what is that? Why is it needed? Tell us a little yeah. bit about that. So I have an example of like a finished product and I'll go over like the printed part and I think Brandon can talk um, pretty well about the actual assembly part. Um, there's mainly three components of it. This is like a finished unit that someone would actually wear. Um, looks super simplistic, but it is it is absolutely essential to keep off um, any sort of, of fluids, liquids, whatever that might splash on whoever's wearing it to keep them safe. Um, the actual part that we print is this orange part right here. Um, it's a file that starts on the, lives on a computer, and you download it to a micro SD. You plug it into a 3D printer. It reads how to do it, and then um, it prints off. And then when it's done printing, it takes about a, one of the two versions we're running, my version takes about an hour for each one. Um, it prints off, and then once it's cool, you take it off, rinse, repeat, and then you have that printed part. Um, and I think what's so efficient about our sort of initiative is that we have two separate crews. So I'm kind of heading up this this printing crew, making sure everyone is is you know staying on task, and and you know we're all kind of operating along with three uh, three other individuals in town and across the duty that are helping run this. Um, but after that, we send it out for assembly for the elastic and for the uh, clips. And I think Brandon can kind of speak on that because he's, he's been able to assemble at least yeah. so far. Um, I haven't been able to do as much as I wanted to because I'm not as local as I'd like to be. Um, mm -hmm. But I have been able to pick up about two kits um, that come with about 50 visors, 50 pieces of elastic, and 50 clips. Um, and so my wife and I have been able to assemble some of the shields. So you get a gigantic garbage bag filled with all of the supplies um, and you dump it out on a sanitized table, wash your hands, make sure everything is nice and clean because that's so very important. Um, and then you just spend the time putting the elastic through the visor, adding the clip to it so it's adjustable, um, and then packing it back into a clean bag and then dropping it off at a location um, for it to be sort of um, sorted and then sent out across the states. Yeah, actually, once, the, once they get back. Sorry, I was saying we got to make some too, and I actually have a whole bag sitting in my dining room right now that we're gonna make tonight. Um, so yeah, there's so many people who have been helping in the community. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys have a sense of like how many volunteers have helped to assemble the face shields? <laughs> 
Um, I know for a fact yesterday I dropped off I had one family, one Psalms family come up and pick up 10 kids oh, wow. for their neighbors that are also all Psalms Chorus kids. Oh, awesome. And just picked them up, picked them up, took them out. Um, looking at the group, um, it looks like the group, we have about 144 members just in the assembly squad. Um, and that the assembly group lives pretty much only in South Orange and Maplewood. Right. Um, and that is kind of a combination of people that I know, people, you know, yeah. from Psalms, people from the district, and also people word from of mouth. Um, word yeah. of mouth, and also uh, Vanessa Pollock's Keller Williams team is on board yep. doing this. So, it, it, so all, wait, all of these big many, places come together. How many masks have been made, would you say? You, you sort of, I think there's a number floating around, right? We do have a number. We reached 10,000, but 10, the, the official delivered as of right now is 12,200. Wow. Um, and we have, yes. I know I, I have at least 500 going out today. So we're, we're hoping to maybe cross 13,000 by, um, by, by the end of Monday. So if these shields were not being delivered to hospitals, what would the medical staff be wearing? If not for the mask that you're delivering, what are they wearing? Are, do they not have the protective gear at all? Are they wearing something that's just like a really like a poor quality compared to these? <laughs> I... I it's, think it's it, tough uh, to say. It, it's it's tough to say. I mean, um, some people have have had things, uh, but they've been single use. The nice thing about the nice thing about what we do is right. every piece, all components of this, of both designs, are reusable, okay. and that's why we decided to go that route. I mean, initially this had another piece that was like foam and super glue, but that part you couldn't sanitize, so we got rid of it. Yeah. Um, so we're hoping that once they get these, they they at least get can at least get more than one use out of it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and even if they they can't, the the, the major um, the major plastic that we use is called PLA, mm -hmm. uh, which is which is more plant based. So right. it, you know it's biodegradable. So in like twenty forty years, it can you know it's gone. It's not here forever. Mm -hmm. um, but if they didn't have our stuff, I I don't know. I mean, I, I, yeah. I we've, we've all seen pictures online of. People with nothing, people with with one of these duct tape to their heads, people with just How did you, you know. come up with this idea? How did you decide this is what I'm gonna do? This is a need. How did this come to be? <laughs> um my parents sent me an article on just like a company from upstate New York, a 3D printer company, because I bought one. Okay. Um, and they were like, look, they're printing these like face shields didn't know what a face shield was, saw it, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Um, I looked at that, and then, you know, I was like, oh, I can do that. Uh, so I printed off a couple. I wanted to print off, like, 15 and give it to one of my um, my choir parents. Is like, uh, just test this out. Does this work? Yeah. Um, posted a picture of it on Facebook, and then people were like, oh, I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Um, so it mostly started with just people that were, you know, either, like, students' close. parents or, like, yeah. friends. Yeah, close. And then it, it started to grow, and then more people came online, and then it just, the goal of 15 um, was seemed lofty at the time, but. Uh, <laughs> yep. Now you're at 12,000, you know. and that <laughs> oh, yeah. has been over the past, like, how many weeks, what'd you say, like, when did you guys? We started, we started about, like, March, I'll say, I think that we, I think I formed a Facebook group on March 20th, March 22nd. Yeah. Okay. Right like a month. So it's about a yeah. month. Wow. About a month, yeah. <laughs> so do you see this continuing? Is this something that you would like to see continue over the next, you know, we don't know how long, but. That's what Brandon and I were actually talking about yep. earlier was, in addition to my administrative team as well, for, for this whole, you know, alliance about, um, you know, the admin team and I talked about long range, what, what is this going to look like? Are we going to be needed if, if there's a second wave? You know, are we going to yeah. be needed then? Will they have what they need? Um, so that's why Brandon and I sort of talked about, um, you know, approaching it, approaching it more uh, focused wise, uh, you know, from a social media aspect, which I think he can do right. really well. Um, so he's kind of heading up that sort of effort so that, you know, if it is, if it does pop up again, we can start faster because we have an established name, we have an established sort of trust with these different sort of, you know, locations in the region. Hopefully, 
my personal hope is that we aren't needed. You know, my yeah. personal hope is that one day we wake up and they say, you're done. Mm. We, you've been put out of business. But, you know, I think it's every, every person involved, whether they're like snipping plastic or running the Instagram account or whatever, they, I, th I think we're in it until this is done, you know? Right. So um, in terms of the, uh, I know you have 12,000 so far delivered. Can you tell us, um, you know, where they're going, what facilities they're going to? Yes, I can. Um, so we have a big spreadsheet. Yeah. Um, uh oh, there we go. Uh oh, back. Back. I had a call. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I have a spreadsheet that uh, we kind of keep track of all our orders to. Um, it's it's pretty much been anything you can imagine. Hospitals all across New Jersey, um, locally, uh, uh, South Jersey, Central Jersey. We have two separate teams. Now we have a whole Central Jersey team that just deals with like. Robert Wood Johnson and all those hospitals down there. You know, we've 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 been able to deliver to Pennsylvania, to New York City, to Delaware. So it's it's kind of been our reach. It's not just right here in our yeah. You know, it's it's County. been it's been spreading. <laughs> <laughs> it's been spreading, and and I think the most common phrase that Brandon and I sort of exchange now is "What is happening?" Yeah, um, pretty much. Or like, "What is our life right now?" Because right. we didn't yeah. really. Like, you know, you I don't think anyone involved. A month or two months ago, if you could see yourself now, like, would you just be like, <laughs> what? What? Yeah. what am I doing? Like, you could yeah, never- and I, and I pretty much ask him that every day. <laughs> every day. Because it's always something new. He'll always send me a text saying, hey, guess what happened today? Or like, this is the number that we printed so far. And I'm like, what is your life? Yeah. You know, because, and we always talk about like, could you imagine like, we, we literally are just teachers, you know, and yeah. then just all of a teachers. sudden, yeah, There's pretty much, you know, or so we thought. He's just a teacher. <laughs> yeah, and so then just many, uh, this happened. How many people have 3D printers in this area? A lot more than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought just me, you know, um, I know that we have... Uh, <sighs> across the area looking at like a daily total it, it looks like in just just the south orange maplewood area probably about eight or ten people just wow. in 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 maps so that that yeah. are printing you know and they may have multiple printers right um but across across the network it's kind of like exploded oh, um yeah so i and and i think establishing a footprint online yep. has helped yeah. us reach people and to have someone to help organize that has been crucial because otherwise we get you know swamped and we can't really yeah navigate the right so, way so we that's a good segue if people watching um can they join the facebook group where most of i think yeah. there's a couple of facebook groups right if i'm not yeah yep yeah so we have two main facebook groups we have i think i could talk in the the printer one and maybe brandon can talk about the assembly one but um you have a 3d printer and you're ready to go and you and you and you can produce even if it's a small toy one mm -hmm. um you can join uh, the Soma NJ 3D Printer Alliance. And it's popped there right up. There's a page and there's also a group. Okay. Um, you can answer the questions for the group. You can get in or you can um, just message us on the page and we'll get and we'll direct you to the right spot. Mm -hmm. and then for the assembly group. So the assembly group is the Soma NJ 3D Printer Alliance assembly squad. Um, and on it, you'll get posts. Um, a lot of people are posting pictures of themselves assembling. Um, they also will post um, how many kits are available for pickup. Mm -hmm. And if you're not on Facebook at that exact moment, chances are you're not going to get a kit because so many people comment and they go like <laughs> that. So um, absolutely, you know, yeah, you gotta join it if you want to have help. your notifications on for the group. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Because if you don't get notified within five seconds, that's it. It's, you missed you missed your chance. But you know, yeah. But they're posting every day, so you know. It's a bad problem. I mean, it's not, that's a good problem yeah. to have. You have a lot of people who want to help. A lot. Exactly. It is. It is. It is. It is. It's mind boggling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mind boggling. It's crazy. So let's also talk about in terms of donations because those are mm -hmm. needed to continue this amazing effort. Um, there is a GoFundMe. Um, yes. And we will post that so people have that link. Mm -hmm. And also now the Soma, uh, sorry, Soma NJ 3D um, Printer Alliance is now on mm -hmm. Instagram. And yes. when I post this video, we'll tag them. So that's a good way to also stay in touch and get information and get the GoFundMe link to help yep. out. 
Um, what else? Oh, well, I, I think Brandon, and I can just somewhat say that we uh, were working closer, cl closer to home, I guess, and closer yeah. to our, I guess, speciality. Uh, we're working on another one of our um, songs, you could say. Yes. You know, we, we started off just doing wait, snow yeah. days, yep. um, then moved on to the initial closing we thought it was a long weekend, then we moved on to, um, you so know, like a feel just, good video. Yeah, yeah. Where do yeah. we listen to these songs or watch these videos? Because I've yet to see these and I would love to. How do I find them? Uh, oh, we, we actually started a YouTube account. <laughs> There it is. The YouTube there account. Is. Yeah. Um, what is the YouTube account? I think it's just, it's, it's Ezo and Hillman. I think that's just what it's called. And is this it's public? Short, are, we, are we all allowed to? to, to oh, oh. Okay. Uh, please do. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 <laughs> we will share yes. these videos. This will look, make sure you watch my stories on Level of Maplewood because I will be posting yeah. these. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We all need this kind of content right now. This is what we need. Well, and that's what that's what I think. You know, the Brandon is is a lyrical genius oh, stop. when it comes to when oh, it comes to writing these songs. Well, you say oh stop, but then you write end up writing all of it, and I'm like, yeah, it looks good. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> um, okay, I, I, I think I think we 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 complement each other very well. Yeah. Um, in, in in terms of you know, the kids connect to us. Um, and, you know, I, I think Brandon would agree that just because we're home, our responsibility, our responsibility doesn't stop for making sure that they're okay and making sure yeah. not only like grade wise they're okay, but also like mentally. Yeah. So yeah, I just yep. wanted to add that. I mean, you guys are both educators and you are dealing with the, you know, us learning from a distance at the same time as you were doing all this. So yep. that's like an amazing feat. The fact that you are somehow able to, you know, teach online, which is really <laughs> challenging right now, as we all know. Yep. And then also like bringing all this other work is crazy. It's crazy. So you're all, you're both amazing. And our community is really lucky to have you. Your students are so lucky. Um, and just wanted to say thank you. Thanks. It's, 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 it's a, it's a good, as, as weird as it is, it's a good place to be kind of quarantined in. Yeah. You know, the, uh, the community's helpful, the community's responsive, they're close knit. Our administration is like, at the middle school is like through the roof. Our principal, yeah. Ms. Irby, loves and like, loves the little like videos that we do. And she's oh, like super awesome. supportive of it. So that's, that's you know, great. it's mm -hmm. great. Yeah, well, it's really thank great. you guys so much. I feel like we could talk for ages, for hours. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, but there's so much good stuff that we can share with people. I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. um, we'll get, you know, we'll make sure we post the Facebook groups and the GoFundMe and the YouTube videos. And when you guys have your song out that you're producing right now, I can't wait to share that too. Mm -hmm. Yep, can't wait to finish it. And yeah, we're we hoping. We're hoping by the end of the week. Yeah. Yep. Fingers crossed. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for making such an impact on your students' lives, in our community, and um, thank you. Oh, thank you for taking you. the time to talk. Thanks. Um, and thank you, Instagram followers, for watching, and be sure to like their Instagram page, very important. And um, we'll see you guys all soon. <laughs> yeah. Yep.